Hello friends, welcome. Thank you for joining me here on my Kickstarter project. I'm a scientist by training, but what I do every day with a passion is design, make and sell products. I've taken the best technologies available, used design to create something called the A-Cube. It marries the fabulous sound of Dr. Graham Banks BMR speaker with incredibly looking acrylic enclosures. Great loudspeakers really have two facets to them. One is the enclosure which needs to be rigid and well damped and the second part is the driver, the loudspeaker driver you use. On the second part we've taken the BMR loudspeaker I think is the most significant advance in loudspeaker technology since 1925 when Kellogg and Rice created the loudspeakers we know today. I won't go into detail of why that is better, but basically it's a full range loudspeaker which gives a room filling sound and wide dispersion. And it allows us with good enclosure design to create best in class loudspeakers. And that's what we've done. The loudspeaker enclosure is also a very significant part of the loudspeaker design. Traditionally, the way to create loudspeaker, good loudspeaker enclosures was to use rigid, heavy boxes and then dampen them internally um, with wadding and lining and brace them. Make sure your box is stiff, but when you have the resonances, now by resonances, what that means is when you have the sound, the panels of the box vibrates and it radiates sound. The objective of a good loudspeaker design is to kill these if you like, colorations of sound, these resonances. There are two ways to do that. One is to ensure that the box is extremely rigid and heavy, um, and then you, you line it with whatever um, materials to dampen it. The other one, which is the way we've, we've, we've approached it, is to choose a material that gives you very high internal damping. Now I'll go into some depth into what internal damping, because it's, it's what gives us the unique point of the, the loudspeaker. It's the fact that it works great as an enclosure, but it's also very beautiful, which meets the criterion of design, leading, and, and form following function. Um, acrylic is a very interesting material. It's been known for some time. It's, it's light, it's stiff, but by that it's rigid. But that internal damping is the key to it. Um, I won't go into depth in it, but it's due to a phenomenon called viscoelasticity. And um, Professor Rod Lakes at Wisconsin uh, University does a very interest, uh, interesting demonstration for his students in his, his lab. He has created um, a series of tuning forks, all the same size and in different materials. And on his website, if you Google Rod Lakes, University of Wisconsin, say viscoelasticity, and look for the demos, you'll see them. He actually has um, sound clips of the sound of, of that damping. Damping is, is when you not, a bell is poorly damped, steel, you know, it rings forever. Damping is when that sound comes on and it, it, it kills itself immediately. Acrylic is great for that. And on that side, you'll see the acrylic tuning fork wins hands down. So by making our loudspeaker enclosure out of acrylic, we've rarely created a great enclosure, but it still vibrates. You know, you, you don't have to, to make it that stiff. You could make it very, very thick. You know, if you look on any television station today, you'll see the so-called Lucite tables, which is one inch thick acrylic on just about every news program and, uh, and talk show host has a, 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 a Lucite tabletop. Um, it's the edge light. They go for the the, the, the light, edge light fantastic as I call it. But by using acrylic for enclosures we get both. We get the great enclosure but we also get the fabulous looks. And that's the key, you know. You must have performance, you must have convenience, you must have affordability, but it's nothing without great looks. So with the A-Cube we think we've delivered, you know, and met all the targets we set out. We set out to achieve performance, right? We think we're best in class. 
will knock the socks off anything in the same class of near field monitor and loudspeakers. We're affordable. We're coming in at um, a recommended retail price of you know, $180. We're going to offer it to our Kickstarter friends at $150 for the single cube. We've made it convenient. You know, we've taken one, one cube, you can get your, your, your mono from it if you want, that's convenient, but you can easily extend it to stereo to get the true, um, the true sound. Um, that's, that's about all I have to say now. I, I think, you know, that the feedback we've got so far has been phenomenal. You know, I, I, I'm very proud of the product we've, we've, we've delivered in the E-Cube. And this is just the beginning. We will be bringing other great sound reproduction products to you in the future. So come on board for the journey and thank you for visiting the web page here on Kickstarter. Thank you.